we're seeing uh, some deer, kingfishers, yeah, herons, yeah, stuff you wouldn't normally do. Certainly not in sitting in the cold. That rail, from this rail, there, is the original old railway that ran into Apedale and brought the coal out. It's absolutely amazing that it survived. When you compare it with the narrow gauge heritage railway that we've got here, it's a completely different thing put together. It's brilliant. This is it's a chimney base. This is just the base of the chimney. Went up three times higher above that from the, what was Watermills Colony. And you've already got to look at all the fancy brickwork in there and the plaques. I'll try to remember what the plaques were in a minute. Um, to say that the serious money we put into this, even though it's even though it's an industrial, um, like I say, a chimney base. It wasn't just throw, thrown up any old way, that's been properly that's been put up with the intention of staying up. Oh yeah. So that one says uh, Richard Edinson Hathcote. He was from Apedale Hall. I can't, can't remember the date. This is a, an interesting one. Regard the end. So I presume that must be something biblical, I don't know. Is that the James Bond one? That's level that lev. <laughs> <laughs> and I, I, I can't remember this one. about walking this, this is the sort of thing you see, because you can't get anywhere near here in the vehicle. And the only reason I think why that isn't a memorial to miners in North Staffordshire is that very point that to get here you've got to walk. You know, there's no easy access for them to walk to it, which is a shame really. No. <laughs> That's one of the most impressive monuments around here, I would say. Another guy we walk with, he's not very mobile. Oh, yeah, that's, that's <laughs> and uh, Rob's made a few videos of him trying to get over a stile. <laughs> I can't bring the other foot through. <laughs> 